Hello and welcome to Sim.pc. Right now it is 1745. Yes, that is the case. And well, it's kind of kind of late, isn't it? Well, not as late as has been previously, I know, right? But today, for being a Saturday, it's kind of late. I've had the entire day for myself just doing nothing, haven't I? No, I actually haven't. I actually was at school today. Kind of an interesting view, kind of an interesting thing, that it was like nobody in school today. At all. Like, nobody was there. Because all of the exams was this weekend. No, it wasn't. It was this week. Sorry, this weekend right now. Yeah, it was this week. So uh, most people just weren't there anymore. Just going to showcase as well what I picked up yesterday. And I know, mate, you just dying of uh, of extermination. Uh, what you say? Anticipation. Look at this. I bought a hard case for me guitar. Doesn't it look professional? Oh. Hopefully with that, it's going to survive the way back to Sweden with me. Hopefully, I say hopefully because, you know, it seems quite robust, it was the best that they had, but still, it's going to be in an airplane with lots of, lots of heavy stuff. But yeah, hopefully it will, yeah, hopefully, hopefully, blah, blah, blah. hopefully it will survive. Yeah, but that's not why you're here, is it? No, because we're going to review all of my exams. That is correct. Instead of talking about business, I'm going to talk about myself. Because if it's not, you know, self-concerning and self, what you were saying, self-fulfilling to just watch yourself each and every day in camera, it's also going, I'm also going to like project myself, my view, my life upon to you, mate. <laughs> I know, I know, it's crazy, isn't it? But yeah, so I said I was going to go through it, and that's what I'm going to do. Also going to say that there was a new opening at Blizzard that I applied to yesterday. Woohoo! Hope that I get into that one too, analyst and stuff. More of a job than an internship though, so we'll see how that works out with education and stuff. But I could easily take one year off education, like one year off my bachelor, and just go there and work there if I could work at Blizzard. But we'll see, we'll see yet again, left this as a reference, formal reference, that's why I'm like, whoa, telling it now. Well, anyway, <clears throat> going through them then, as I had them, we can start off by saying, and I know that I touched upon this a bit yesterday, but God's sake, it didn't feel like me studying actually gained me anything in a lot of the courses. I'm saying a lot, but like in two out of three, two out of four. What do I mean with that? Well, basically, the way that I understand it, right, the way I've had it explained to me is that since we need to be in class, right, everybody needs to be in class, everybody needs to be there every day, th therefore they have like a teacher, right? But since we are such a big class, they need to split us up to two sections, we're section one and section two, and according to some of the things, as I know about, according to some of the, what you say, information given on the exam, apparently there might be four or five sections, but as I am clearly aware of, there are two sections, right? Because I have made in both of them, from my home university. The problem is, right, that we have one teacher that's not teaching both of the sections because that would be kind of, you know, unfair. Some people would need to go up early in the morning, some people would go late in the evening. So instead, they all having it at the same time. So when we have negotiations, the other people have negotiation techniques, as I understand it. But then it, that means that the same teacher can't be at two places at once, which means that there are two different teachers, right? And these teachers have been given the what should we say the uh, what 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 we should know right the rubrics and everything that you should teach these people this right and this is the same in all of our courses in HR in sustainability in management information systems it's all the same and even the negotiation has took as an example what this means is basically that the teachers are teaching and covering all the grounds right for what we need we need to know in different ways which is not necessarily something bad don't get me wrong it's surely it must be good that different people learn in different ways because you know diversification and more people have a more different uh, skill tool like a toolkit that's all fine all damn all good however right when you move into an exam and they ask for a specific theory that half of the class didn't know that's when it becomes a problem. Now, I think, right, because yet again, this is how I have had it explained to me, that all of the schools in Ketch, so Ketch in Paris, Ketch in Bordeaux, Ketch in Toulouse, Ketch in Marseille, 
they're all getting the same exam because they're all re we're all reading the same course, we're all studying the same course, which is, you know, as fair as it can get. However, apparently the, it is a teacher in Marseille who has written the, the examination for us, the exam. However, that teacher had te taught in one way and our teachers have taught in us in another way. It not, it, like, we still covered all the bases. I still probably know as much as the other people know and can, you know, handle myself in a sales situation equally as good. But they're using different theories. For instance, one question was, what are the different business objectives, right? And for me, that apparently was the sales cycle, I think, because most people wrote that and it was seven steps. So I was just, okay, they probably mean the sales cycle here, but they called it something else. And that, that threw off a lot of people, which yet again, some people will say that's good because then you actually not only study to remember, you actually study so that you actually know what, you, what they're talking about. You can actually identify the theory and apply the theory. However, I would argue that uh, since the midterms that we've had that was supposedly similar to the exam, according to some teachers, and they wasn't made a study in such a way that we were going to perform really well if that format were to be presented. However, when it wasn't, we were a bit thrown off and just the, just the uncertainty of not knowing what's coming when you thought you knew what was coming, that's a bit you know, like, ah, you're feeling kind of cheated in a way, which is never good, never good. So sustainability, uh, no, not sustainability. Starting off with the first exam, we had HR and team management. Now I know that HR, in my own opinion, is a bit of a broad subject, right? It's all about organizational behavior, and as I've covered in the, in the videos leading up to it, it's a lot about leadership, it's about perception, groups, dynamics, psychology, there's lots of different stuff that's unveiled there. So when different teachers are teaching different theories in different ways, it gets even more confusing, right? Uh, and that's not to say that I couldn't answer the questions that was at the exam. However, I would say like this that I also told me mate, that we had a specific set of tools when we came to this school and at this school we've been reiterating the same points as well we already knew because we're in the second year bachelor when we were supposed to study the third year bachelor so that was perhaps a mismatch i don't know uh, but the things that we've learned here that we specifically learned here that i didn't know about before for instance the SOMCAS is the french acronym for security pride and whatever that's what's in negotiations anyway but there was stuff like that it's such a good example because i didn't know that before but there was stuff like that that was very what you say french centric um that was presented in all the different courses and in hr for example i can't come up with an example but these things came on the exam or rather we we studied these these things because we didn't know them before uh, because we thought that we we're going to come in the exam however when we came to the exam it turns out that all the things i've been studying on what didn't show up now i know i know knowledge doesn't weigh anything it doesn't weigh me down it's not like that i if you know some if you've learned something it's never in vain because you can always utilize knowledge but it felt kind of like all this time that i've spent studying for the exams, I could have just as well, might as well have spent doing something completely different because I would equally as, what should we say, prepared before I'd studied as I was even though I studied. So let me put this into perspective. If I would have gotten 10 out of 10 questions correct if I studied, which I did, um, or let's say 9 out of 10, 8 out of 10, let's be modest here, right? Let's say I would got would give got an 8 out of 10 when I studied, since I studied. But someone who didn't study, who came from the same school, who had the same uh, toolkit as I, might have gotten 7 out of 10. So there might be a 1 point difference there. Now some people will say that's 10%. That is true. However, however, this entire semester only is a pass or fail for us, apparently, accordingly. It's according to some people, right? So it didn't feel like the extra time I put in, the effort that's all about expectancy theory, really. The effort I put in didn't lead to a better performance, at least I don't think so. At least we had, yeah, I know, we have to wait until the reward is coming, but intrinsically it felt like I've been chasing this, I'm not chasing this goal, but I've been spending this much time and it didn't yield me enough. Even though I studied on the things that the teacher specifically said, like, study on this, this is what the exam is going to be based on. And there was a lot of stuff, sure. And I studied on all of that stuff and I knew all of the important pieces of that, but none of that came on the exam. It was more like, what do you think? How do you reason? How, how do you utilize your own perception and your own experience in order to answer the questions? 
for instance, one of the questions were, were, would you like to work at this corporation? And there was a case. And then you could use the things in the case in order to motivate your points. Sure, yet again, this 8 out of 10 instead of 7 out of 10, it was handy to have some theory to base it on when you said, well, I would like to do this and this and this based on these theories, but I necessarily used the theories that I had specifically learned to this exam instead of the theories that I already knew from before. And I know, I know, some of the French people hadn't seen like Hofstede, for instance, before, so for them all of that was new. Not that that came on any of the exams, but an example like Hofstede that it might have been other things that the French students didn't know that we internationals just happened to know. Uh, that came on the exam as well that I just took for granted, like, oh, this is super easy, I knew this before I studied. However, there might be some students who were really struggling. But I would say HR, really, not the exam itself, kind of unclear. The MCQs was kind of good. I saw what they were coming from, or where they were coming from. From the the case was more like what should I say? Yet again, this feeling of that I didn't need to study in order to answer these questions, and it also didn't feel a hundred percent that this was based on what we've done in the course, which was obviously a big problem, right? For many of the people, like we've been told that we need to be here, and still the things that we take took up and studied in class didn't actually come on the exam. They might kind of came on the exam but not really and this is yet again you know utilizing the knowledge you have in other ways and not just because they say something that you need to identify it you need to actually identify it and use it in a way that's not explicitly told which i am all for right but still many people had this perception of that it was not an equally as good exam as it could have been now this can also be the cultural perception and the cultural clash that we are used to some of the like a certain way of doing the exams at my university for instance where we study and the teacher says here is your course literature, here is the powerpoints, here is some additional material, here is some articles. Now weave all of these together and it will come on the exam and we will post questions right that are similar to the ones we've done in class but there will be some twists and we will just need to know that you actually know what we've done right that you can adopt this these things. But that's a lot about you know we're building on maths and stuff and maths is like you either know it or you don't course you can be creative with that as well that's not what I'm saying but in this course it was more like it was so broad it felt like the answers that we could give was a lot up to pop like my own perception of what is correct in the situation which felt like oh, I could have skipped the studying and just went with my own perception and my own experiences and still have gotten a well at that point in time when I wrote it I would have still been equally as satisfied writing the exam if you get what I mean. Now, yet again, it might turn out that everybody's getting an F and it was actually super hard and the questions were really explicit, but we didn't understand what the questions were. Of course, that could be the th that could be the case, but HR kind of, nah, I would give it a, like a four out of 10 just because, you know, I'm not used to that kind of, that, that sort of actually explaining and, what should we say, presenting an exam. Then we had, uh, negotiations in the morning and it really felt like our teacher hadn't read the the exam or he might have read it and hadn't you know he might not have the authority to actually change it but in comparison to what we've done before and his style of teaching it didn't feel like it was something that he would have done now as soon as yet or as uh, late as today I actually got some confirmation on the exams and the one of my people in the group, because I did a group work today, and according to our presentation we're going to do on Monday. Yay! Our final thing in the school, the semester, and then we're free! Anyway, they said that the English exams that we had was the same as the French exams, as the, you know, the purely French groups and purely French, French uh, programs had as well, but it was just directly translated. So it could be that it was a lot of... I don't know, it was a lot different from different yet again from how we were taught this subject and how other people were taught this subject and since it might be this French directly translated into English we might got the French version or something and they perhaps didn't use the same theory because we used a lot of English theories while they were perhaps using lots of French theories. Yet again the negotiation felt a lot like I, I don't quite understand because we had the different sections right and we discussed that before as well that oh we've, we've been studying two different courses right this completely different we used the completely different theories right so when, when I went in and saw the exam I was just like oh this is 
the other section is going to have such an easy time with this because this is obviously their questions, it's not ours because this is not the theory that I've been studying on. And so I went out with another couple of mates and uh, we were just like, yeah, it's the other section, right? Yeah, it's the other section, it's going to be golden on this one. And then two people from the other section came out and we were like, yeah, lucky you. And they were like, no, lucky you. This is not what we studied at all. And we were like, this is not what we studied either. So it might be that the, this was more catered to some of the French groups perhaps that were taught in a different way. Yet again, I could answer all the questions. That's not that's not what I'm saying, but it was just that some of the wording and some of the questions felt more like statements than actually questions. There were a lot of interpretation going on in order to answer the questions. Yet again, throwing me off in comparison to what I'm used to at home, where it's like, this is the question, answer this. Here was more like, this happens, and I'm like, okay, what's the question, <laughs> right? It could be that I thought the answer was so obvious that I didn't think about it, like that I didn't think about it as a question. It could be the case, it could be that I over it, over made it overly complicated. Uh, but yeah, whatever. And then we went into the MIS, the Management Information System, which was a bit more clear cut, a bit more like home, so I like that very much. Sustainability, by the way, got in like a three up. 3 out of 10, in my, in my book, right? Uh, MIS gets a easily an 8 out of 10, just because of the structure of the, uh, the exam. And then we had the last one, which was sustainability, where I could see technically in all the questions where the person came from, uh, where the teacher who had made the, uh, made the exam came, where they came from with the questions and the reasoning and how we had touched upon this in class and how this all came together and you took your own perception and all of that and all of this. However, I had this expectation that this sustainability was the one that was going to be the most, what should we say, all over the place when it comes to questions. However, there were only, there were, there were some questions that were based on cases, but there were still MCQs, right? But there had multiple choices that you could, multiple choices could be right or none of them were right, right? So you need to know exactly everything and there were like A to F and you needed to know all of them in order to know which one was correct and which one was not. Sometimes there were no correct answers, sometimes there were one correct answer and sometimes there were all correct or just many of them were correct and it was ah, it was such a uh, which was a real mind teaser I would say that's a 10 out of 10 exam don't get me wrong I didn't like it personally but I would say that that is a 10 out of 10 exam of how I would do it might have thrown in some more motivation some more like write yourself questions to know that you actually understand it yourself and that you don't need these key terms in order to actually understand what the question is focused on that you actually can understand what the answer should be but that's just getting into technicalities. Okay, so dependent on that, it might be more of a nine, eight, actually. Yeah, more of an eight, eight out of 10. Also based on that, some of the questions, based on based on the case, I could already answer without even reading the case. Because it was so much, like, it was more logical than it was theory, in a way, which was kind of bad, but arguably not, because, you know, logic is part of learning as well. And some could say, or it's actually very feasible and very plausible, and probably is the case that I've been sitting in class and subconsciously taking in all of this information, basing my logic on that. And when I came to the exam, I was like, this is easy. This could be because I was in class and learned it all, right? So can't throw that under the bus. Another thing I'm going to mention, I know this is a long video, but another thing I'm going to mention is as well that at home, or rather at our home university, we have almost always 100 or 90 points or something like that. Which means that when you have a discussion question, right, and it says two points, it's just two out of 100 or two out of 90, which basically means that it's a pretty small question. All of these exams were 60% of the grade, as I understood it, and they were all just 20 out of 20 as a maximum score. So that means when it's two points it's two out of 20 sure but that's actually six out of 60. you get what i'm saying when it's three out of 20 it's actually nine out of 60. so this was a, like there was some discussion questions for which, which i thought was like this is a very this is very little this is a very little amount of questions where there was so little points given and then i realized like boom oh they actually each point contradicts like each point is intercorrelated with a high percentage of the course. So each point is really important to get. And when it's lower amount of points, it's hard to get all the points because if I would have gotten like a three out of four, for instance, uh, but it was like on the verge of getting a three out of four, I might only get a one out of two here, right? Whereas I would have gotten a three out of four, not a two out of four. Now I only get a one out of two. So it's 50, 100 or zero, whereas I usually could have gone like 25, 50, 75 or 100% of the question. 
I don't personally like this way, but you know, it's a married to it as well. Like you should know, and if you're uncertain and you don't know, then you shouldn't get the point. Sure, all fine for that logic. So uh, yeah, that was me just reviewing me exams a bit. I know it was a bit, you know, rambly. It took a bit of time. I had some. I had lots of ideas about this. Uh, but yeah, I hope you had. A, I hope you have a good one, mates. And I'm coming at you live tomorrow now. But I'm actually going to go out tonight and do some networking. Yay! Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry for my case. Yeah, I'm talking to me case. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm not crazy at all. That's why I'm going to go out and meet some people. <laughs> yeah, so today I'm going to go out and meet some people, you know, from class, partying that the exams are done, you know, get some networking going. Yeah, yeah. Haven't said that since, I don't know, since I began with these, with these uh, vlogs. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So uh, have a nice one, mate. See you tomorrow and hope you made it all the way through this. Sorry for the long video yet again. Have a nice one.